What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Halloween ends in this video here again today. So as the thumbnail is suggesting, we're going to be talking about another outlandish idea as to what could be going on with this saying of the ending or the movie itself might not sit well with some people. And I've seen this online a few places and it's this idea that what will happen in Halloween ends is that you'll find out that none of this has actually happened. Now, I want to just say that this would be definitely something that I think a lot of people who were invested in this narrative would not like. I think this would have been something that many people would have been accepting of maybe many decades ago as it pertains to a particular timeline. But this no like I, I think that the negativity surrounding the thorn timeline and i know the thorn timeline has has the fans I, again i'm a fan of halloween 4 halloween 4 is a is one of the better entries in this universe or in that timeline anyway and the first two films again they're good as well but i think that if you, you did something like that there that'll be something that doesn't cause as much backlash considering a lot of the negativity that i see surrounding halloween 6 versus doing that here this timeline for most of what i have seen has been one of the more praised timelines you have a solid original film with halloween 1978 and then you have a well-received overperformed halloween 2018 you have a halloween kills which going off of the, the the reviews i mean it wasn't well received by those critics at the time but it was more so a favorite i would say with most halloween fans and it did certainly live up to its title uh it got certainly a lot right as it pertains to recreating the vibes of the 1978 film the recreation of the myers house i still have to say is probably one of the best iterations that we've gotten in this franchise since the original since the original movie i'll defend that about this movie no doubt there's several things about halloween kills that i will defend even though i do still fall on the side of saying it was a step down from what we got in the 2018 movie and then with halloween ends it just seems like this is going to be such a character driven movie that this is going to be a timeline that i think a lot of people will end up looking back on and saying you know what this is one of the better timelines of movies in the choose your own adventure universe that essentially is the halloween films at this point so to have something happen where Laurie Strode was dreaming the entire time and let's say it even cuts to something that relates to her just being locked up from the events of what happened in the 1978 film. She has been locked up. She had gone insane and she's just she's she's never been out in Haddonfield since many years ago and that'll be something that we find out as like a big grand twist in the end not only would that be out there but it would also be something that i think would cause a lot of people to just get up and walk out it would be something that leaves a lot of people scratching their heads as to why they even bothered watching the 2018 film and halloween kills because now you have ends which in and of itself let's say ends has such a strong middle beginning it has a lot of good setups and payoffs it has a lot of good character development it has a lot of strong performances a lot of good shots in it a lot of memorable moments iconic kills everything is just hitting off all of these boxes checking off all the boxes this is lining itself up to be one of the best halloween movies there is you get to the end this big old twist happens that again we're for the sake of this video saying is what jamie lee curtis is saying might upset some people you find out that halloween ends not only was all a big dream so was halloween kills and so was halloween 2018 laurie strode has never been the same since the events of halloween 1978 she managed to at least make it in life for the next 20 or 30 years or so of her her existence before she was ultimately locked up in an asylum for going insane because she never recovered from her trauma that's something that not only would be of course inferior to what i think this series is supposed to be representing in terms of the like uh climate it's it's being released in and the whole marketing 
campaign around the Me Too movement, or at least that's what Jamie Lee was making it out to be. I just think that that would be something that's not going to really go over well with most audience members. I know I would have a lot to say about that as well. The fact that it would all be a dream. Sure, you might have those people out there who defend it, but even when you're defending it, what would be good about that? If you're someone who thinks that this would even actually be a good idea to find out that none of this happened and it was all a dream and to make matters worse, let's say that not only would Lori Strode end up waking up in the end of Halloween ends, she wakes up in the hospital bed of the events of Halloween 2 1981. That would be something I think would also leave a lot of people floored, but then go back to being instantly mad because you're like, well, what did I just waste my time for watching this movie? So again, if you are someone who thinks that that would be a good idea to explore just let me know why down in the comment section below and how you would sell your audience on that because i think that's more in line with an episode of buffy i'm recalling where buffy was that was having a hallucination because of her interaction with a demon and she thought that she was a slayer and we're shown that she's actually not the slayer she's just insane and she's been in an asylum for many years i think that would go over a little bit worse than that episode which i think still has a lot of people up in debate as it relates to whether or not buffy was really the slayer or is she actually in an asylum which we know that's not the case she's a slayer <laughs> but going back on topic with halloween ends if it were to end in a manner in which you now are telling your audience that everything they had gone through in this timeline was all a dream and none of it counts and it's actually not even part of its own timeline it's part of the original halloween one two h2o timeline let's pretend it could be part of the thorn timeline it was all a dream of Lori, one of her big grand dreams while she was dreaming about michael in her hospital bed in the 1981 sequel that would be something that i that i can see causing a lot of frustration it would be something i can see a lot of people just saying you know what i don't want to watch these movies anymore and it could also be something that just leads to most people losing faith and anyone doing anything proper with this ip going forward that's just one of the more out there possibilities do i think it's going to happen no if it were to happen and if you think that that would be a nice decision or a nice route to take let me know why down in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video